The Big Half is a mass participation half marathon which takes place in the heart of London. 2023 was the sixth edition of this massive event and a whopping 20,000 runners were expected to rock up to the start line. The course is mainly flat and takes runners through the streets of London, including through the Limehouse Link Tunnel, the Canary Wharf District, and a crossing over the River Thames via Tower Bridge before weaving through Bermondsey, Rotherhive, Surrey Keys and Deptford to finally finish in Greenwich. With this being my first half marathon in six months, I was excited to run the 13.1 mile distance again. Here's how it went. I'm Craig, this is Running Cafe and this is the Big Half 2023. Let's have it guys. All right, 3.3 miles in and a time of 23 minutes and 40 seconds. Feeling okay, the sun's out, it's quite hot, but it could be a lot worse. Today is my first time doing a proper race for a while. I've been injured for about two months. So yeah, this is really just to see uh, where my fitness is at today. It's a little bit of a litmus test. So yeah, almost a quarter in. Let's keep this train rolling. London Bridge, perhaps the most iconic part of this entire half marathon. Quite a spectacular day, the crowds are fantastic and there's absolutely thousands of people running this this morning. I'm about seven miles in, clock's up 48 minutes. Starting to flag a little bit, but nothing I can't handle. I'm just gonna keep the legs turning. Finish this thing strong. Let's go. There we go, mile 11, just over two miles to go. And honestly guys, I'm starting to think I may have bitten off a bit more than I can chew by going out so fast at the start after having lost quite a lot of fitness. It just feels like I'm flagging big time. Haven't got the energy or an extra gear to uh, roll into to accelerate in the uh, latter half of this race. But at the end of the day, I'm just happy to be recovered from the injury and running. What more can you ask for? Okay, let's finish these last two miles strong and enjoy the rest of the big half. This is your finish at the Big Half 2023. I'm Craig, this is Running Cafe, and I just ran the Big Half 2023. That felt hard. There you have it, the Big Half 2023. It was fun to run something fast again after having focused mainly on ultra marathons all year. In terms of my performance, I finished in a time of 1 hour, 30 minutes and 6 seconds and came 1,270th overall out of 20,108 runners. Not my fastest half marathon time, but after coming back from an injury, I'm just glad to be out there running again to be honest. In summary, this was a really fun event and it was really cool to run through the streets of London with thousands of other runners having a blast. If you get a chance, I'd highly recommend taking part in the big half. A bit random, something I wanted to mention was that this was the first race I've ever done in over 50 races, including half marathons, 
marathons and ultra marathons where the shirt given at the end was long sleeve. Again, random, but I thought that was pretty cool. Thanks very much for watching. I've been Craig and I'll see you in the next one. Happy running.